What is up, everybody? I just want to say thank you for 400 subscribers. Yeah, it means a lot. Cool. All right, anyways, let's get on to the tutorial. You don't want to hear any of that. I'll just say thank you, too. Anyways, so today I'm going to be bringing you a flow tutorial. Now, this flow tutorial is going to be extra long, only because I'm doing three different genres or types of songs, if you would like to call it, that I think would be best for flow. Now, here we have trap. EDM, electric dance music, and then like club music pretty much, whatever. These are the songs that we've used and edited before that you guys like. So yeah, here's a, a song for Trap. Oh. Here's a song for EDM. So for each one, I'm going to be showing you pen and crop and how to sync to a song, so pretty much flow and the transitioning of smoothness and everything. So yeah, so let's go to our trap side, All right, and I'm just going to just say resample, a quick tip that my friend told me, uh, what's his name, I don't remember his name, <laughs> I forgot his name, oh no, it's faded, I fade, I five, but he's taught me that if you hit D twice, this little box comes up just highlight all the clips right clip on one of the clips right click on one of the clips switches save a resample right click again switches <coughs> and take off make the aspect ratio and then you hit D twice again and then you're back so <coughs> for those who don't know what the save a resample does if I take off the save a resample on this one and I put it on best full I go to a place where it's like see it kind of like ebbs in its own motion blur which looks really ugly so you can see the difference if I just take that off it makes everything nice and clean <coughs> so yeah keep that off I recommend alright so anyways so my setup is pretty much cinematic clip that cinematic new cinematic of someone running clip and then that cinematic or, or map cinematic so what I like to do is find the beats first so you would hit M as you play through it to find the beats so I'm just gonna do that real quick oh. alright so the reason I did that the on the on the like the King part, whatever. So I know where I'm gonna add black flashes because you need to trap it where you hit that. You would add um, like little black flashes, whatever, like ultra did. So yeah. So I'm just gonna sync to this shot. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put starting clip right here. So it's gonna come in right on that beat. Okay. So I'm gonna have this cinematic be long enough to. Oh. It to that clip. So I'm just going to hold control, drag out, and hold shift, and it'll connect to this one. Right click, insert, remove envelopes, velocity, and I like to bring the one up, bring this green line all the way up. Click over a little bit from the beginning and set that to 50, about that much. Go over 50%, click right about right there keep that at 50 and double click and make a new dot at the end and bring that all the way up now right now it just speeds up slows down speeds up now to make that nicer right click this this green line going down and hit fast right click the green line going up and hit fast again now this would do is make it like fade into slow and then speed up really fast to switch it over so now that look like this. Oh. It's a little bit laggy. Oh. And then you would do the same here, where it's opening it up. This will increase the rate of syncing the shots by accident, like. Oh. 
You see how that just shoots out pretty much right there? So if you just bring that all the way up, that'll click about 25, not even 25%, just a little bit in. A centimeter. Cut that to fast. Well, 50, cut that to fast. <coughs> and then go over. And then, if you ever have something like this, you can either do that, that little scope effect where it flies out and turn it back in. For now, I'm just going to double click a little bit before. Go right over that shot. Why, I don't know why that's so far away. And then just drag it forward. And then, that's the shot. I'm going to double click over here and bring that all the way up to 300%. So it flings down and then double click over a little bit and set that to slow actually. So it goes like this. It has some force while, fall, like, while coming back out of the shot. And then if you did the cinematic and that first shot smoothly it should look like this. So next, I'm going to sync on the next shot. So I'm going to sync another clip right here. So this is pretty much like uh, a jitter shot. What will happen is you split it right there on that beat. Bring this up like this, set that to 50. So you have another fade out, set that to fast, another it fades out again. And then drag this to the right until you see the next shot. on the shot and then drag that back <coughs> so it basically just skips to the shot like that and you're just gonna speed it up and bring it down to 50 slow so that it goes like that and then you should have this To on this beat right here. I don't know why these markers are so off. We should do good. I like to speed it up, so you're just gonna click on the marker, set that to 50, and click. I don't know, a little bit, a little bit before that marker, and then a little bit after that marker. Maybe right here, and drag this middle marker. All the way up and change this to slow. Change this to slow. And now you have like a nice little reload. And then just have it come in like that. <coughs> so, as you can see, it speeds up on that beat. And then you're going to have it shoot on this one. So, I wanted to show on that one. So, I'm going to. I'm going to do another jitter shot. So, I'm going to go back one. Bring this up. Set that to fast. Alright. And you can see it shoots right there, so I actually don't have to do your shot. I only do those if if I cannot I know I cannot get the sync perfect. So if it just shoots in like that, set that to slow too. So it shoots in, comes down really fast, and then if you've done it correctly, you should have something like this. So, the next beat right here, I'm going to have it go into a cinematic. So I'm just going to drag this back, and then do what I did to that other cinematic at the beginning. Just always fade it out like this. Set that to fast. So it goes out fast, pretty much. <laughs> and then bring back. Bring back the death cinematics of this one. Now, 
I don't want it to like go all the way out like that, so I'm just gonna bring this back so I can still see this body. And we're gonna find. So I'm just gonna bring that to the next one. Add velocity. <coughs> and do what I do with the cinematic at the beginning. And it's just repeating this process on each cinematic. It's pretty simple. It gives it a nice flow. So that's fast. And then we're gonna come in with the hijack cinematic. And then come to the next beat. So this is the next beat. So I'm just gonna track this back. Alright, and then do the same thing with the velocity. I'm not going to sync this next clip just because you guys probably already get the gist of it. And it's the same thing, it's syncing like that. So if we just try and preview this, this is what it'll look like. One little tip, if you guys are going to add pen and crop, you want to do it right away, just highlight the region, right click the top, and hit render to new track. Alright, <coughs> then make sure you save it to like your documents or something. It's pretty much rendering it, but it takes the time of you having to drag it back in. And stuff. So I'm just going to render this out. I have my render settings, I'll show you guys that at the end of the video. I'll put a link in the description to where all the parts are. Okay. Anyways, yeah. So, alright, so now that I finished rendering, I just popped it into my new track right there. So I can actually just delete these, delete the audio on this, and then bring this down. And then it basically makes it so you can pan and crop. Because if you pan and crop with velocity on with all the split clips, it won't look good because it'll speed up the pen and crop. And it's oh. All right. So what we're gonna do is go into our. We're gonna right click properties, save for sample, extra creation. Just get that over and done with. Go into our. Actually, I think. Oh. We're gonna pan and crop on every snare and every uh, beat. So, uh, what is it called? Drum and snare, yeah. Okay. Now, what Alter did, he did like this little shaky thing here, I'll show you. He did this little shaky thing with the pan and crop. That's cool and all, but I'm just gonna show you like shot pan and crop and just beat regular beats and because what he did was kind of complex and stuff. It was a little bit confusing, but I liked it. a lot of time to do in Vegas because it does don't ask questions. But anyways we're just gonna sing the shots and the beats and the snares. Whatever. Alright, let's do this. Go into a pan and crop, this little tool right down here. Alright, I'm gonna zoom in zoom in on this first beat. I wanna get it exact so close it right there. Click right here. Alright what I like to do is add a keyframe to this little plus button. Click on that keyframe, go use your arrow keys to go back to one, two, add another keyframe. Alright. So now you have keyframe, keyframe. Now this keyframe is where the beat hits. So what we're gonna do is 
I like to make my panic cop random. That means like it's not always just like that. You know, it's gonna be like here to here to here here all that to it tilted. So I like to I'm gonna put it right on the gun, make it zoom in on the gun. So it's gonna zoom in on the gun. And we're gonna go all the way to our next beat. Here's our next beat. Add a keyframe. Go back to restore. Right click and restore at the top. And it'll add another keyframe. And it'll do it again. But this time I'm just gonna add a center screen pump with a tilt. Like that. And oh, <coughs> one more thing. Hold control when you're dragging these in so it's nicer. It doesn't ruin like, it doesn't make it look like that. Because <coughs> it'll help a lot. Alright. Go over to the next one. Door, one, two, add keyframe. Alright, I'm just gonna zoom in, put it on the gun again, tilt it to the right. Oh, that was a shot too, actually. No, that's fine. I'm gonna keep it like that. It's all about randomness. No, it's it's the new style, guys. What are you doing? So just keep doing that in each marker, add a keyframe, go back to restore, go on the keyframe. Put it like actually I'm just gonna make this one a regular string pump. Why? Because I can. Because the more random, the more better. You know. One, two, add keyframe. Have that restored. One, two. Shot one. I'm gonna tilt it to the left this time. Go over. And that's that's the next beat. One, two, star. Go in, regular screen pump. And you pretty much should get the gist of this, what I'm doing. I just restore it. And then, oh, and then, then click on the last keyframe, click on the first one, and hold shift, and then click it. All these will be highlighted. Just right click the keyframe, put that to smooth, it'll make everything smoother and it's so nice. It's just like ECDs and After Effects, whatever you want to call it. So if we preview this. <laughs> now, honestly, that looks good, but if you add like black bars to it, Set made. Okay. I'm gonna go back black, black bars to it and gunshot. It'll look ridiculously awesome. Mm -hmm. So let me just get some gunshots. Silent. Okay, I'm just gonna drag that back. It's about right here. So that's the first shot. Oh my god, that's loud. Change that to this. So I don't want to hear that reloading. So I'm just gonna fade it down. Right click the fade. And I put that little swervy thingy. I'm putting these to negative 15 is because my screen capture will pick it up and be like loud as hell, so don't worry about me setting it to negative 15. Right, I'm gonna keep the. <clears throat> now, what I like to do is. To all my gunshots, I have this preset, but you can just do this. Right, uh, click on the event effects and go to amplitude modulation. It 
double click that and hit OK. This will pop up. Now I have this preset, but uh, I have this preset called Gun Sound. Now I'll just copy down this setting and it'll give you a nice muffled sound. Hey, good. Hey, good. And then if you wanna, I, I, no, I don't like, honestly, I don't like going back and having to do that, so I'm just gonna hit copy, right click on the next gun sound, paste event attributes, do that to each one, and then you have. And then, yeah, so then you can add black. Those black flashes, that flashes, it's pretty easy. You need to get a solid, I like to get a solid. Or you can just come down here and do what I usually do though. Which is split, one over. Now honestly this works better. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna edit each one, it's pretty much the same effect. Like that. look like I'm just messing around with it and destroying the whole entire clip, but I'm actually not. <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is, this is fun, you know, this is, this is nice. So loud, my mouse. I'm not gonna put color correction on it because that's just you guys can do what you want with that color correction. I suck at color correcting. Ultra gives me crap for every time I use it. But here is the pretty much the final result of trap songs and flow with the sync. And yeah, this is here you go. Oh. going on to the next part. We're doing electric dance music tutorial. Yay! Well, I think these are easier to sync because it's just one beat. So it's you know, get it. Alright, so we're just gonna find the beats for this. So you're just gonna hit M and you're playing through it. So yeah, here we go. said my trap description I did cinematic clip cinematic cinematic clip so it's running cinematic then a clip then either an outro cinematic with death or map you can do it with map too if you want to doesn't matter <sighs> good start all right so we're gonna find the first beat we already found the first beat what am I talking about I'm gonna put this clip on the first beat so <laughs> a little bit off because I suck. Anyways, so that is that'd be a lot. So we're just gonna drag <laughs> God I keep forgetting because I just did it. I think I already did it. We're gonna just say every sample on these these so D D double click D D on it. Highlight right click switches save every sample. Okay. So 
for those of you who don't know what the saber sample does, what it does is, if we take it off, but I'm just going to sample this so it's usually set to me, it's on dust auto, see how ugly that gets and how warpy, and if we take it off, bam, smooth as that, anyways, okay, let's get into it, okay, okay, so, I want this cinematic to be able to it's to that, so I'm just gonna hold control, click and pan and drag it to the end, hold shift till it snaps. Okay. So next we're gonna right click the clip, insert slash remove envelope velocity, drag this to the top. So <laughs> let's do this. I'm so used to saying what I would already do with that over there. Go. Anyways, so I'm just gonna drag this to the top, this line. Click a little bit away from the start and set that to 50. Like double click and set it, right click, set it to 50. And then move it a little bit, go a little bit before the end, double click. Just keep that at reset. If you just double click it there, it'll stay there. Go to the end, double click, drag that up. Alright, so now you just have fast, slow, fast. Okay, and we're gonna change that. I'm gonna right click this green, make it fast, right click this part of the green, make it fast. Now what that did is as you can see it makes it swerve down and fade down. Now this is nicer, so it goes a little bit slower and start, and it speeds up really fast at the end. So it's like Okay. So as you can see Right click here, envelope, velocity, drag this to the top, double click a little bit away from this middle, or uh, center, start, bleh, set that to 50, set this to fast, okay, and then I'll zoom in, and then I want to shoot right there. Okay. <coughs> so, that shot, what we're going to do is drag it up, we find the shot. There's the shot. I want to be more detailed. Right there. Okay. So it just comes up pretty bland like that. I don't like that. No one likes that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another marker. Drag it to the top of the 300 so it comes down like that. And then fade it out. So just double click a little bit away from that marker. And just set it to slow. So it goes... Each beat, I'm just gonna have it. Um, it's gonna go shoot. Yeah, shoot. Okay. So on this beat right here, this bass beat drum thingy, we're gonna add a marker on it, right on that, right on. Try to get it exact. Set that to 50. R zero. Oh, no, I just get 50. Go a little bit behind. Double click. Go a little bit in front. Double click. Drag that one in the middle up. Set this one to slow. Set this one to slow, and you have this little wave thing. So it's gonna talk back pretty fast. So it's gonna go. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is double click a little bit before, go on to the clip, drag up. Do you see the shot? That is the shot. And drag this back. it back and right, add a marker on the top of that so it's gonna go like that and go a little bit away from that marker set that to 50 set this to slow now you have this oh my god so laggy hold on If you're not a fan of the whole fast moving thing to the show, because I am not, I'm just doing that because that's what you usually you would do when you're syncing to these songs, but I'm just going to change it up, drag this one over, drag this one over a little bit, so it kind of just like flies in like that, 
Alright, I'm just gonna split it on my marker, drag back. Like I said in the Trebi, this is like a jitter shot, it snaps right into the clip. So it's just gonna go. Okay, so it's gonna go. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, like. Like that. That's how I think that looks nicer. I'm gonna set that to slow. Actually, I'm gonna. Yeah. A little bit too fast coming out of it. Mm, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this beat, just make it kind of beat forward. Slow. Slow. change this to fast because I don't want it shooting right there. Oh that's ridiculous. I'm gonna bring this back even more because I it's honestly messing with my emotions right now. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> that's usually never happens, but if it does you just kinda mess around with the with the four settings with the velocity. So it's gonna shoot right there. I'm just gonna bring this up, what I did over there. It comes down fast. Set that to slow. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So, right now, you should have this. cinematic to line on the next beat so on that beat so I'm just gonna drag this out and then go a little bit before the end double click go to the end double click and set that to fast or yeah fast so it comes out like that really fast I want this cinematic on the last fading out right at the end I don't want it like I want you to see the body the whole time so it's gonna go like that hold control drag to the end so the whole body, right click, to remove velocity or envelope, whatever, and then do what I did with the cinematic over there at the beginning. Okay, and then it's gonna come to the cinematic. I'm not gonna sync the next clip for time purposes because this is gonna be a long ass tutorial. So I'm just gonna have that. I'm gonna bring this back because it slows down. Click, uh, right click, velocity, drag this up, do the same thing. Okay, and that's pretty much it for that. Go through it. That's good. Now what we can do is bring over some gunshots. There's some gunshots from the previous trap. Okay. We can do that. Now for this, um, since I did for the trap edit, what I did was... the gun sound. Now I wouldn't recommend doing that in this one because you kind of want to hear the gun sound because it wouldn't fit nice I don't think. You do what you want. But I'm gonna let it fade out. Let this kind of fade. Alright, 
now the muffle setting if you want to see it you just it's you right you click on that vent thingy tool green dot amplitude modulation hit ok <coughs> and then right here this is the setting just copy that down okay you make my tutorial take longer fuck okay all right here's what it sounds like sync at the end is a little bit off. Yeah, it's a little bit off. Crop. Now I'm going to show you how to pen and crop to this kind of song. I'm going to right click at the top, render to new track. So if we highlight that and render to new track, we all that. It will make like a new track that's fully done. Make it easier to pen and crop. I'll just show you when it's done. Be back. All right, guys. So <coughs> I'm back. What it did was this. It put everything <coughs> a new video thingy. You know, you get it. You don't get your stupid. We can just delete these and drag this down. Okay. Now we have this. Pen crop, we already have the beat down, so it's gonna be easier. Right click properties, say we're simple, maintain extra efficient. Bam! Now under your pen and crop, this tool thingy. I'm gonna zoom in on the clip down here for each marker. So I'm gonna go to the first beat. This is the first beat. Add this keyframe, just click this little plus button, click on the keyframe. Use the arrow keys to go back to one, two. Add another keyframe. Might have to zoom in to add it. All right. Go to the first keyframe that you added. I'm gonna zoom it in, tilt it to the right. So remember, I'm tilting it to the right. <coughs> All right. So now we're gonna go to the next keyframe. Tilt it to the left. Go to the next keyframe, tilt it to the right, the next keyframe, tilt it to the left, and the next keyframe, tilt it to the right. So just keep repeating that process. Tilt it to the left. I say keyframe, go to the next marker. To the left. Alright, now that we've done that, we can just click on this keyframe that we just last put in, go to frame behind, and restore. Double click that keyframe, control C, go to the next one, two over, restore, click it, two over. So what I'm doing is just pasting the reset <coughs> two frames behind the actual tilt. This is easier. Alright, so now what we have is this. This is pretty neat. Now that is the one.
Sun Ultra taught me. He's such a nice guy. <laughs> Nick, bro, uh, I'm gonna highlight all these and set them to smooth, so it's smoother, obviously. And then it, it makes a little bit of a difference. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you wanted to, you can obviously drag. I'm gonna just a quick. Oh, you skipped the things before. I don't know why it's doing that and setting it back, but you know, I don't know. So now if we drag those back, I'm gonna go four back, so it gets more of a little push in, you know, push in. No, it gives it more um, time to reset and then come back in. So if you see, this is what it'll look like with four frames back instead of two. <laughs> nicer yeah so yeah then all you have to do is add some black bars black bars to it and you got yourself a nice looking edit <laughs> or flow not really flow I can't say this is a flow tutorial this watch is sinking and kind of crop for different types of songs so with the black bars on it honestly it looks better with black bars I don't know why it just gives it this nice vibe to it that now we're going on to club I actually love that honestly I do all right so on to the club now we're first you're gonna disable sample highlight all these double click D highlight all them right click switches Save every sample. Okay. Double click D. Again, so it gets back to regular mode. Counter sire. Now, if you don't know what the save every sample does, I will show you. We put it on best full. Best auto, my bad. And we right click. See, right now it looks nice. If we take off the save every sample, watch this. Bam. Ugh, the liquor. So, yeah, that's what it does. It just makes it, makes it look nice. So, keep that. Alright, so first things first, we're going to find the beats of each part in the song, so there's only one beat, which is the drum, so it's... Oh, actually, no. Wow, I'm stupid. I guess I just drum in a stair. Alright, so I'm just going to find the markers for each one of them. So I'm just going to play through it and hit M each time. you get these perfect. Alright, cool. So, first things first, I want this to come in before the first beat. So I'm going to drag this regular clip on the first beat. Hold the control and drag this so it's long enough. So now on to flow or velocity, whatever. Right click the clip, insert session move envelope velocity. Drag one all in the left up, drag this one down, drag this one, drag it, drag it, like that. Alright. <coughs> so what I did was I the right that green line popped up, I dragged all the way to the top, went over a little bit, double clicked at the top, and drag and right clicked and set it to fifty, first dot. Went over to the went over a little bit, well, like a little bit before the end, double clicked <coughs> at the top and set that to 50, 
and then went over to the end and double clicked and put that all the way up. So what that dot did, dot, is started it fast and it went slow and then went back fast. Alright, what we're gonna do is on this little slope, right click it, set that to fast. On this little slope, right click it, set that to fast. Now what this will do is make it a little bit smoother when it comes in and move faster when it comes out. So let's. Sinking. Now each shot, <coughs> I want to, <coughs> wow, my throat hurts. And we're just going to right click and insert our envelope velocity, drag this up, and then have it pretty much fade in. I'm going to set this to slow. I don't know why I set it to fast. So, so it's going to come in like that. Oh, wait, yep, I know why I set it to fast. Oh, I set it to fast. Okay. So I'm going to have it shoot up. I'm gonna have it shoot on the clap and then speed up on the drum. So. I'm just gonna split on the clip before it shoots. Now there's the shot clip. Drag it up, over, set to 50, set this to slow. So it kinda just. So now you have that. So that is the first shot. Bam, done. Okay, I'm gonna come over to the next beat. Double click on the marker. Add a new green dot. Go a little bit before that, a little bit after that marker. Double click, add two more green dots. On, on the marker, the green dot on the marker, drag it all the way up. Now the two slopes, the first slope on the left side, that's 50. Slap, wow, did I say set to 50? Set that to slow. And the flip on the right, set that to slow. Now will that do is speed it up really fast. Then go back slow. We're going to have it shoot on this shot now. Now, I don't want it to aim in. I'm just going to have it I'm just going to have it shoot right into it. So there's the shot. Just drag it up. Move it a little bit. Add a marker, set that to 50. And set that to slow. Now, if you don't like the way it just like pops into it, what you can do is just go a little bit before the end, double click again, and then add that back. Well, all right. So what that would do is I'll make it kind of fly into it. Set that to fast. <coughs> all right, and then add a marker on that to beat, go over a little bit, go behind a little bit, and drag this to the top. Set that to slow, set that to slow, and you'll have fast and slow on that beat, and then next shot, I just want to have this just snap right into it. cinematic on that beat so you're just gonna split it delete that part now drag this end to the top go behind a little bit and set that to 50 set that to slow I mean fast and then it'll just kind of fasten out fast in fast way out or whatever you want to call it <coughs> when it shoots fast way out and then you'll have the cinematic now the cinematic uh, it kind of leaves the body and you don't see it anymore, so I'm just going to bring that back to where you see it. And then hold control and drag it back so it fits between the two markers. So it comes out on that snap or snare. Alright, right click, insert the envelope, and then do what we did at the first cinematic. So, yeah. Set those two to fast. Alright, come over here, bring this cinematic over. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I need to set up a cinematic clip, cinematic, cinematic clip. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, so next we're just going to bring that over. So it fits between the two markers. 
and do the same thing that we did with that one. Set that up, go a little bit over, set to 50, a little bit over, set to 50 again, a little bit over after that, set to uh, 300. Set both the slips to 50, then you'll have these. And if you do it correctly, you should have something that looks like this. For a perfect flow, sweet sexiness. drag these shots from the EDM tut over here like an old man all right Amplitude modulation, hit OK, and then I have this preset called Gun Sound. You can just copy it, it's pretty much like a muffle sound. This you could put this on a song when you shoot, it muffles out, and then you shoot again, and it, and it sounds normal. So you can just get that down. All right. So quick little tip to get past having to click and go to that: right click, copy, paste the vanish beats on each gunshot. Now muffle it up. Make it look sound nice. So we're gonna do this this time. We're gonna play back and just do a shot. Now I would turn it down a little bit and it art is I don't want it to hear it that much, so that's good. So now an easy way to put on panic crop because that's what we're doing next for this song is highlight it like this go to the beginning just highlight it and then just drag it back so it highlights the whole clip click on the, the little gray section right here it says loop region right click render to new track and then you can just hit render put on your settings i have these settings i'll show you guys that at the end of the video so i'm just gonna hit render and i'll see you guys then all right, and we are back. So this is what it did. It just put it in a new track, a clean track. We're gonna delete this audio. I'm gonna delete this couple audio clips, uh, video clips. <coughs> We're gonna delete this whole messy thing and bring this down. Click, go to properties, disable resample, maintain aspect ratio, fun, done, that. Alright, I'm gonna click on the pan and crop tool, click right here and zoom in. Click right here and zoom in. And you can use your arrow keys to navigate, so that's when it comes in. Bam. We're gonna click on the first beat. We're gonna find the first beat where my switch is. I had a keyframe. I'm gonna zoom it <coughs> in towards the gun, like that. We don't want to make it too intense. Put that right there. And then go to the next beat. So that's the next beat. I'm just going to zoom in and have a regular tilted pan and crop. Now, one thing is, if you're trying to have flow, put the make sure your pan and crop is right there. So I'm going to have this one switch and be like down here. Just have it in random places. Place it in the look nice. So right here on the shot. I'm gonna have it right there. I'm gonna have a regular screen pump. Pretty deep one too. For the next one, next marker, or beat. And then I'm gonna have it zoom in on the gun again. <coughs> With our left tilt this time. Now it's okay if it's a little bit black showing. We're gonna have black blinds. You should have black blinds anyways. Because black blinds are the shit. Alright, I'm gonna have a regular pan crop tilted to the right. Regular screen pump to the right. All right, for this, I'm just gonna have it zoom in normally. <coughs> and go to the next one, and just add another marker. And then go to the end, 
and restore it. So that restore, we're just gonna double click, hit Control C, go to the next, go to the before keyframe, hit arrow key two times before it, hit paste, and you're just gonna do that to each one. So click on the keyframe, two before paste. Keyframe two before paste. Just keep doing that. So what we can do to make it nicer is if we click on the first keyframe and hold shift and click on the last keyframe, it'll highlight all of them, right click any keyframe and hit set that to smooth. It'll make it smoother obviously, that's the name of it. <coughs> so that looks nice. Now if we add some black bars to it, what happened to my black bars? I don't know. Or whatever, I'll just add this. Add some black black bars to it. Alright. So now that we have black bars on it, it looks way nicer and everything just comes together perfectly. So now just a brief preview of each one. Here is the trap one. Let me add the black bars back. There we go. Okay. So here's trap. I'm trying to get it perfect. All right. All right. Here's that. EDM or stuff like ultra edits too and stuff. Sweet. Alright, and then here is club or whatever. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for 400 subs once again. This is a long ass tutorial, probably two hours long. I'm gonna try to shrink it down, see what I can do. I don't know, it's gonna probably be two hours long. All right, anyways, I promise you guys I'll show you my render setting at the end. And then there's a pack in the description. Uh -huh. That's gonna be some stuff that I've used, some stuff that I've made and all that, and some stuff Ultra made. But yeah, here are my render settings. You guys can just copy that down. I don't even know how to get into it. Hold on. Try to figure this out. Okay. <coughs> it's pretty simple stuff. Go to audio. So, yeah. Everything's nice. It's nice. Hard's nice. Everything's good. And, yeah. So, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Go check out the description. It has a list of all the songs. Yeah. Thanks for 400 subs. Blow tight for the win. Peace off, guys. Yeah.